Bon a fellow Tina, C. Janelle Charland Houchier. Hello, everyone. My name is Janelle Charland. This video is an overview of the pamphlet that we prepared for the Denny Laws Project. The Denny Laws Project is a three year project that began in the summer of 2021. Coldic First Nations applied for funding from the Department of Justice at the Government of Canada. And we invited the Wakotuan Law and Governance Lodge from the University of Alberta to partner with Cold Lake First Nations. The Lodge has methods and tools for our community to draw out the wisdom that we have so that we can organize ourselves to apply our own laws to address today's challenges and opportunities. We know that the word law could be negative and we appreciate that there are other words we could use, such as Dene teachings and Dene wisdom. However, we also want to use the word law to keep our focus on our goal of creating our own laws to govern ourselves at the individual, family, and community level. So the goal of the project is that we want to define the goals and the needs of Cold Lake First Nations in the area of law development. And we want to ensure that the laws that we make for ourselves come from Dene ways of knowing and Dene teachings, so that it could guide our community in a good way. The project is meant for Cold Lake First Nations. We don't need to report our laws to the government. We want to move forward using our Dene ways of knowing and our Dene language to ensure that our community can move forward in a positive way. So what's happened since the summer of 2021? Well, myself, Janelle Charland, and research assistants from the Lakota and Law and Governance Lodge have been doing research on existing Dene laws and traditional stories and legal traditions across Turtle Island. We looked up online resources, we visited the land in the Cold Lake region, and then we visited with some Cold Lake First Nations members to learn about our community strengths. We held a wisdom workshop at the Treaty Ground in August 2021, and then we wrote a 25 page report on it. And we're going to be hosting more workshops this year, so we'll be updating the report to reflect all the wisdom that we gathered. We also analyzed traditional Dene stories and we pulled legal principles, teachings, and guidance from those stories. We'll use this information to inform the creation and revitalization of Dene laws at Cold Lake First Nations. We're going to have community workshops where we ask the community members what they want to see happen in our community from a law point of view. So we're going to be hosting our workshops in Lagoff and Edmonton in July, and then we'll have an on-the-line camp at Berry Point in August. So then with all the wisdom gathered from the discussions that we have, we'll write another report and then give it back to the community so that everyone can understand where we want to prioritize our efforts. We could be focusing on elections, housing, children, child and welfare, and more. So here are the specific days for our, our community engagement activities. On Monday, July 18th, in the evening, we're going to be hosting a workshop at the Edmonton Inn. There'll be dinner, snacks, and door prizes provided. And then on the following Monday, we're going to host another workshop at Hotel Dene in the evening as well. So again, there'll be dinner, snacks, and door prizes. And then in August, we're gonna be hosting a Dene Law Camp on the land at GA Ho Chi Lai or Berry Point. So there will be overnight camping and daily bus transport available. And if you want to ask ask questions or learn more or sign up, you can feel free to call me with my number listed there or send me an email. So now I just want to discuss what Indigenous law is. And Dene law is part of Indigenous law. And these ideas come from the wisdom of many academics and scholars. There was a visual representation about Indigenous law that was originally designed at a workshop that Hadley Friedland facilitated, and that was based on the work that was done by herself and Val Napoleon. So Indigenous law has five main sources. They include sacred law, natural law, deliberative law, positivist law, and customary law. Sacred law are the laws that come from Yadarie, the creator. The natural law comes from the land. Deliberative law comes from social interactions, the positivist law comes from central processes or acting on knowledge passed on from our off in a day, our elders. Customary law is basically our cultural and societal norms. And then that text at the bottom, bottom is a citation of 
where we got this information. So as individuals, families, communities, we can interpret those sources of law and we can use methods to create resources for us to move forward in a good way. So methods include asking questions during workshops, analyzing the stories, and creating focus groups to have conversations. We can then synthesize all that information and organize it to create something within a legal framework to form our own laws. And then we can implement those laws and then we can evaluate them if they're good for us or not. Then we can continue the process of adjusting them as we see fit to adapt to our contemporary challenges. We can engage with law through stories, songs, personal memories, families, oral histories, and more. And as we engage with those stories and oral histories and more, we can apply them to our governance models to manage ourselves. We can apply our Dene ways of knowing to solve real messy human problems, such as child welfare, elections, housing, and more. So basically, Indigenous law is a way for large groups of people to collectively govern themselves. Law is a way to solve our problems in the everyday. And the work of law is never done but we need to do it to help improve our livelihood consistently. So thank you for listening. Here's the team that is working on the Cold Lake Dene Law Project. So we have two researchers from Cold Lake First Nation, which are myself, Janelle Charland, and then Monica Janbeer. And then we have a large number of support, large number of people supporting from the Wakoto and Law and Governance Lodge and the research assistants and with project supervisors. So we hope you can come attend our workshops in July and August and hope to see you soon. Merci.